first tell those who weren't here this morning uh, that we had a very, very interesting symposium. And we sat together and talked about the history of these, these composers and musicians and, and what happened and what we are doing in order to perform their music. To know their history, first of all, to know what the music was what they wrote and to try to have that music performed as much as possible. With the launch of the website this afternoon, really a very big step forward in our goal because through the website, everywhere from all over the world, people can go and look, listen and see, and in the end also download or find the way how to download the music in order to play that music all over the world. We are at the beginning of a new era of the Leo Split Foundation. And I'm positive that the Foundation will find ways to continue activities, concerts and international collaborations. And of course, it is also of importance to the city of Amsterdam, since we cannot and should not forget what has happened in our city more than 70 years ago now. Uh, and it's an honor for me to officially launch the website Forbidden Music Regained. Uh, and by saying that, I would like to ask Leonor and Karim to step forward and take us into the website and the world of this uh, new site. Leonor and Karim, please. So here it is. But perhaps we should go to the most important page first. Our sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> like to make them available. So this is our dream. We would like very much together with the Netherlands Music Institute and publisher Donamus to set up a workforce and to uh, digitize all the manuscripts and Karin has counted that we're talking about 20,000 pages. That is uh, our plan. We're working on that and uh, well that will be our next festive moment <laughs> when we have uh, achieved that. Yeah. So? Uh, thank you very much for this presentation. Um, Eleonora founded, uh, the, 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 the started the foundation, uh, but to be honest, and I, that's what I said this morning also, Without Karim, it wouldn't have happened at all. I knew that my father, who was a cellist, had composed a duo with which he had played with great success with his lifelong friend, the violinist, violinist Zoltan Seikai, in the 1930s. I had a score in print but I have never been able to find professional musicians who were willing to take it on the repertoire. The Leo Smith Foundation could be the bridge to a performance. Let me tell you something about my father. I vividly remember the first time the violin and cello duo was performed in this same hall in January 2010, and after more than 70 years, my father seemed very near to me. We have a, a surprise for you, because I thought everybody here would very much now like to hear some music by Paul Herman. I think these pieces are written for you when you were seven or eight years old. Because on the score it says for Koya and Lush. And Koya, that's you, right? Yes. yes.
of the Leo Schmidt-Stiftung and all the other organizations that are here today and the success of our site. Thank you for being here.